Let's look at the procedure on how to use the temperature time chart. Let's consider an example for a spherical shape object, orange for example. Let's assume that uh, we know the properties of orange and uh, we are given a certain time. In other words, we are told that uh, this orange is going to be placed in a uh, cold stream of water and uh, we want to know what will be the center temperature uh, after a certain time. So in other words, the time is known and we want to find out the center temperature. So if the time is known and we want to find the temperature, then the first thing we will do is calculate the Fourier number because uh, properties are known uh, and the characteristic dimension, uh, which will be the radius of the orange, uh, is known and uh, from there we determine the Fourier number and also since the properties are known and also uh, for the water stream convective heat transfer is known then we can also calculate the inverse of Biot number. So on this temperature time chart we can identify the point on the x-axis that represents the Fourier number and also the line that represents the inverse of the Biot number and then we can draw the line from the Fourier number to the uh, inverse of the Biot number line see where they cross and then from there go towards left hand side and see where it will intersect the y-axis and that will be the temperature ratio and uh, in the temperature ratio uh, whatever that value is will tell us what is the unknown T that is the center temperature of that orange uh, f after that orange was placed for that uh, known time. So that is the procedure of how you will use a chart to determine the temperature after a certain period of time. Another way of uh, using this chart is uh, where we want the center temperature to reach a certain value and we want to find out how long should we keep that orange in that water stream. So if the temperature is known then we can go ahead and calculate the temperature ratio and uh, so we will identify a point on the y-axis for that temperature ratio uh, and then again since the properties are known and also the convective heat transfer coefficient is known we know the inverse of Biot number so we draw the line horizontal to where it uh, at where it intersects the uh, inverse of Biot number line and then from there drop a vertical line down and see where it intersects the x-axis and that gives us the Fourier number and uh, once we know that Fourier number from the chart we can then knowing the properties uh, we can find out what is the time so that's the way to find out the time uh, to reach a certain center temperature. So this is how you would use say a chart for a sphere. A similar procedure will be used for, a, for when you use the chart for infinite cylinder. Note that the characteristic dimension for infinite cylinder is the radius and similarly we can use the proper chart for infinite slab in which case the characteristic dimension is the half thickness. Now one uh, piece of caution here when you use these charts make sure that you use the correct chart for the given shape. So always make sure that you have selected the right chart for that particular shape otherwise you are going to get an error in the numbers that you get from these charts.